Hey everyone, welcome to another video by Singularity Computers. Today I'm doing a product overview and installation guide of the full bits power mod kit for the Swiftec MCP655, the Lang D5 and all the other renames and rebadges of this pump. I'm actually doing this video by popular request. There is three main reasons to install one of these mod kits onto your pump. First of all, performance. Installing a pump top onto your pump can improve the performance of your water cooling loop because it can increase the flow. Secondly, options. Installing this mod kit means that you get more inlet and outlet options, you get threads so that you can install whatever fittings you want, and they're also in most situations more compact, so they take up less space in your build, and they also have you know give you more mounting options because they have threads for mounts. Lastly aesthetics. One of these mod kits really improves the look of your pump. I mean there's different options you can get black, you can get clear, you can get silver, matte black, the design of it looks a lot better, there's spots for LEDs, there's a lot of different ways these mod kits improve the aesthetics. Okay, I'm going to start with the product overview side of things. So the things to consider when purchasing this mod kit are the following. The mod kit comes in two separate parts. In one package you get the pump top, in the other package you get the back part of the mod kit. But with the pump top there is a number of different options out there. You can either get the single pump top or the dual pump top. Or you can get it in black or clear. So the clear version is made from acrylic and the black version is made from Delrin. You can also get different colored o-rings for the clear version which you can see through the pump top. Now when it comes to the black part of the mod kit there's a number of different finishes to choose from. To name a few, black sparkle like this one, there's also matte black, silver shining and you can even get it in blue. Okay, now for a good look around all of these components. So I'll start with the dual pump top. In the top, you have an inlet and an outlet. In the front, you have some mounting holes and you have another inlet and outlet. You have this clear section here so that you can see the coolant. And then at the bottom, you have this clear section and you can actually mount LEDs inside of this clear section so looking at it from the bottom there you can see it's held on by three screws so it can easily be removed but you just push the LEDs in through the back there and now looking at the threads so this is where the pumps themselves mount onto the the back of the pump top and I'll show you how that works shortly when I do the installation down on this side you've got two mounting holes and same on the other side. Okay, now for a look at the single version of the pump top. Looking from the top you can see an inlet and an outlet. Looking from the front you can see another inlet and another outlet. There's also mounting holes in all four corners at the front. From the bottom you can see another inlet and then next to it a mounting hole on either side and down here at the bottom you can see two 5mm LED holes and this is the only difference between the clear version and the black version of the pump top because obviously there's no point in mounting LEDs in the black version. There is also slight differences between the clear version and black version of the dual pump top related to the LED mounting. Now looking at the thread, a look from the back, so basically you've got mounting holes at the bottom, you've got mounting holes on either side, you've got mounting holes at the front, and there's none at the top. Okay, now for a look around the back part of the mod kit. So, you've got grip here, and that's for tightening the mod kit onto the pump top. And the pump goes inside of this, 
you can see the thread there which threads onto the pump top just to look at the back part you can see you've got a bits power logo there now the holes in the back part are for two things there's a speed controlled version of the pump and it has a little dial and you can actually adjust the dial through these holes these holes are also for the wiring that powers the pump to go through okay this is what the packaging looks like I don't actually have the packaging for the single version of the pump top but this is what the packaging looks like for the dual version now when you're going to purchase the pump top part make sure you purchase it by the specifications and not by the name because I've seen these pump tops listed with all different names and you might get confused you know between the different versions now this is the back part of the mod kit with these you can just buy them by the names but just make sure you check the color okay now included with the single pump top you get a single o-ring and also four screws for mounting the pump top onto the stand the stand actually comes with the back part of the mod kit included with the dual pump top you just get two o-rings okay included with the back part of the mod kit you get the mod kit itself which comes in two pieces you get two of these and I'll explain exactly what this is for shortly when I do the installation you get a stand and actually the pump top mounts onto this stand but it holds up the entire assembly just look around the stand and you also get this piece of rubber and you can actually mount through this rubber as you can see so this rubber fits onto the bottom of the stand okay now for a quick look at the pumps today I'm using the Swiftec MCP655B as I said there's a number of different companies with their names on these pumps but basically if the pumps look like these you know they're the same or similar then the, this mod kit is going to be compatible with them so as you can see they look very ugly for a start they also have limited options limited mounting options you know you can only mount them really one way you can only really use the stand or maybe mount them on the back you've just got the one inlet and the one outlet so inlets the front outlets the top you've got no threads so you can't use your own fittings I would not put one of these pumps in my build without a mod kit put it put it that way so you can see the stock stand is pretty similar but yeah the bits power one is a bit more aesthetically pleasing and the casing is all plastic whereas with the bits power mod kit you have the nice metal back and then you have the acrylic or acetyl pump top so there we go I'll just give you some quick specifications on these pumps there's actually two different versions of the Swiftec pump one of them has the speed dial and it has a five step speed control dial on the back of it it's red this one is the tachometer version so you get the we've well got two wires here that go to a four pin Molex to power the pump it's just got the two pins in it and you also get a three pin because the pump has a tachometer so that you can plug the three pin into your motherboard to read off the RPM of the pump so they put out 1200 litres per hour they can handle 3.3 .3 metres of head they put out 50 psi okay in the guide that I'm doing today I'm going to be installing two pumps onto the dual pump top and I'm going to be using the full mod kit which includes the pump top and also the back part of the mod kit this guide will apply to as I said all of the other rebadges of this pump it will also apply to the single pump top because basically with a dual pump top you're just doing the same thing but twice the only difference with a single pump top is that with the back part of the mod kit you get a stand and this stand is only designed for the single pump top so the only different 
extra thing you're going to have to do with the single pump top is mount the stand just like that line up the holes and put the screws in basically yeah you, you do get stands for the single pump top but you don't get stands for the dual pump top so you're going to have to come up with your own way of configuring a stand for the dual pump top and at the end of the video I'm going to show you one of the techniques that I've come up with for mounting this dual pump top you know with the pumps on it of course so I'm just going to move the dual pump top and the mod kits out of the way for the moment and the first thing that you need to do is get a good firm hold on the pumps and undo I mean you've got plenty of grip here you just need to hold onto that tightly and undo it so as you can see I've got that off already I'll just pull that all the way off thread the wire through it and that's it that's gone you don't need that again so I mean keep it as a spare but yeah you can just put it back in the box that your pump came in now this is undone now so you just need to give it a wiggle give it a pull and out it comes that o-ring came from here so that's it you don't need this part again either okay so here's the pump itself and this is the only part we need to now install the bits power mod kit onto now what I'm doing is I have the dual pump top and I'm just placing the o-rings into the pump top that came with the pump top and now what I'm going to do the, the pump top goes up that way the clear part goes at the bottom and that's important to get the orientation right because you want to think about where it's going to be in your build and which is the best way to have the wire facing to hide it what you need to do is thread this back part of the mod kit on to the wires and you have to remove these connectors to do that you have to remove this connector and you also have to remove the Molex connector now the tool that you get with the back part of the mod kit is only for removing the Molex connector okay before you do this you need to remember which way you had the wires okay and all you do is you push this on to one of the Molex pins and you just compress it like that and when you push it on just hold the bottom of it don't push it on from there once you've got it all the way on then you push it on from the from the back you compress it remove the molex connector okay so I'm just going to thread those two through the hole pull it all the way through and I won't pull it all the way down to the end yet because I still have to get the other wire on there okay now for the little three pin connector now obviously you only need to worry about doing this if you have the tachometer version speed control version only comes with the Molex connector so it's a little bit easier then all you need to do you can see these two are empty is compress the pin and pull the wire out at the same time so I mean you can use a knife or some scissors and just or even a you know small screwdriver something like that okay so all I'm doing now is compressing that pin and at the same time this is gonna be hard to show you but yeah at the same time I'm pulling it out and that's it it's out pull it all the way through now pull them all the way down to the end spin it around you know untwist all the wires all of that now I get the other part of the mod kit and put all the wires through it okay you can see what I'm doing now I'm just putting it over the entire assembly okay line up the thread and tighten it up now it doesn't need to be extremely tight because you do have an o-ring in there and you know the o-ring is going to compress without too much pressure and seal everything off yeah with the speed control version you need to actually line that dial up with one of these holes and it's a little bit difficult you've got to kind of tighten it up go back a bit and spin the back around tighten it up and then do it again but 
with this version you can just let it tighten up against the wires I mean it's not as if it's going to bend the wires over and you know, like ruin them or something so okay I'm now putting the connectors back on now you can see the hook there that actually needs to face away from the hole okay so this is the way I remembered it the hole is the hole in the connector so it's on that side so the hook faces away from that side and in it goes okay now for the Molex connector so these one these pins can go in any rotation it doesn't matter you just put them in so black one there and that just clicked in yellow one just make sure they're in okay that's it all done so that's looking from the top and you can see what I mean about how much better the aesthetics are you can see how compact it is I mean you've got two pumps right next to each other the pump top holds them both together it just looks great now looking from the back you can see I've pointed both my wires down to the bottom so that I can hide them better got the bits power logos on the back now looking from the bottom it doesn't matter what angle you're looking at this assembly from it looks great so definitely a massive improvement over the original you know pump design looking from the front now LEDs at the bottom here you got the clear section there there's actually a, a cover on that as well and inlet and outlet and now just to look from either side so you've got mounting holes here on either side so there we go okay this system is called Singularity Beast 2 it's currently my personal primary system I'll put a link on the screen to a full build log on this system on my channel and this is just one of the many ways that you can mount this assembly and with the single pump assembly it's even easier but what I have here is two UN pump mounts one on either side one here one here these are the vertical UN pump mounts and you can see I have red LEDs in that bottom clear section now if you don't want to get this advanced with your mounting system I'll show you just a very simple way of mounting this assembly okay this is my Danger Den triple radiator water box I'll put a link on the screen to a video on my channel detailing this water box but in this water box I've used exactly the same pump assembly but this time I've used the clear pump top and as you can see I haven't even mounted it to anything I haven't used any kind of amount whatsoever I've just sat it on some sponge like on the back of the pump top so you can see I have the pump top facing upwards and I've just used the tubing to hold it into position I'm using two five millimeter red LEDs there and you can see I'm using the black rear part of the mod kit but you can even see the coolant flowing through the, the clear one it looks really really awesome anyway that sums up this video thanks for watching please subscribe like and favorite if you want to see more